Hi everybody, my name is Vanessa Perez and in this video I want to show you how to send a message based on a window of time. Why? Well, because I saw that a lot of people has this scenario and doesn't know how to solve it. So, for example, let's say we're building a boat for a company that has working hours from Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and they want to send a message as a default reply for example when they receive a message in this time frame and another message when it's outside of its working hours so well i know uh, that a way to solve this is to get a current date and time and um, at a condition to check if it's between monday to friday from 9 a.m to 6 p.m but unfortunately you cannot do that di directly on ManyChat. So a way to do this would be using external requests, Sapier or Integromat to get the current day of week and hour. But in this video, I will show you how to do this in a different way, all inside ManyChat. Okay, so let's start. First of all, I will have a bot field called bot open and its type is going to be boolean. Okay, so this bot field will tell me if the company store or, well, this bot in general is open or not. Uh, so as you can see here, I added um, a comment that says from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Monday to Friday is yes and the rest of the time is no. Uh, for example, I have this flow and I will use it in a condition to see if, if the bot field is true, it means it, that the, um, the, the business is open, so I will send a message that it's open. Um, if it's not true, it means that it's closed. So it seems pretty easy, right? So instead of checking the, the hour to know if the business is closed or not, I will check this bot field only. Now, the tricky part here is how to automatically set this custom field to true or false in order to in order to automatically set that, we are going to use two rules and these three other flows. So let me show you the flows. Um, these open and closed business flows are very similar. Um, let's start with open business so I can show you what's in there. This open business flow starts with an, uh, with an action that sets the bot field to yes or true. And after that, it sends a message saying that the business is open. And after that message comes a smart delay. The key of this solution is here. This smart delay will wait 24 hours. And then it will continue only between 9 to 10 a.m. On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So it means that if, for example, it's uh, so this was executed on Friday at 9 a.m. So it waits 24 hours, but on the next 24 hours is Saturday, it won't far, it won't continue to this action. It will wait until it's Monday at 9 a.m. to uh, set this action um set the custom field to true. Okay, um, well, in this case, this smart delay will go back to the first step and it, it will set the bot field to true or well yes and it will create a loop um, it will mean that the, the the bot field will set to open and sorry the 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 bot field called bot open is going to be set to yes every monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday at 9 a.m okay now as the as i said this closed business flow is very similar uh, yes, the, the difference is that the first action is to set the bot field to no instead of yes. Uh, well, in this case, I am sending a message that says the business is closed now. And on the smart delay, I also have uh, to work to, for one day or 24 hours. But in now the, the hour is different because it's at 6 p.m. If, if your business uh, closes at 5 p.m., you have to put here uh, 17 if it closes at 9 p.m you put here 21 so this is the time when your business closes and it's only from monday tuesday wednesday well again from monday to friday okay 
and it also create a a loop so it will do this every time well every 24 hours uh, from monday to friday now the idea is to have these two flows running all the time so they will open or close the business automatically remember that to do that you only need one person to go through these flows and in this in this case the person will get the business is open or business is closed message so of course you as an admin could be the one who get these messages um i actually added these messages most uh, mostly uh, so i can know when i was testing i wanted to be sure that it was working well so i added mostly to know if the if let's say that the bot closes the business or not but you can delete them from the flow so for example if you don't want to get the messages like i tested it for a month mostly and i get tired of the messages like let's say after the first or two weeks so if you don't want to get these messages you can just delete them and just connect the action to the smart delay so this action smart delay action smart delay action so that's the, the loop that we need actually um, but uh, as i said the message is mostly to know that it's working fine now uh, to start firing this flow, I just decided to create a setup flow that will be helped with two rules. So I'm gonna first I'm gonna revert this flow, and I have this other flow called configure business hours. It will be used only to actually it will be used only once. Okay because here it will ask me when do i want to start opening the business and when do i want to start closing it and we're going to save the answers in two custom fields i'm gonna edit it so you can see it uh, i have two custom fields that is called start opening business and start closing business well in my case i have it as two because i was testing another way to do it but um, this has to be used this custom field has to be used only here because they're they are going to we're going to use them in some rule in some rules so we don't need to let's say to interfere with something else okay so make them exclusive for this flow now uh, we'll go to the rules and we will create two rules I will show you the rules that I already created. Um, they are here. So open business and close business. So they are very similar. One is, well, as the name saying, one is to open the business and the other is to close it. Okay. So the open business rule will have a date and time based trigger. And this trigger uh, goes off at the day of the start opening business custom field, which is the one we use on the setup uh, configuration flow. And add field time. You be careful because you have to select field time, so it will go at the field time that you choose on the on the custom field. Okay. Otherwise, this won't work well. And the action for this rule is going to be uh, start a flow and it's going to be open business. I remember that flow that we had with the loop. To, so we have the action to open the business, the smart delay, and again the action. And this one. The other rule, I'm going to active this. The other rule is very similar, it's closed business, but in this case, I use the other custom field, which is to start closing business, and the flow that I it's going to uh, send is called close business. Also, I'm going to active this. Now we only need to preview our configure business hours flow to start opening and closing the hour business. Um, it asks me. I'm gonna preview it. Sorry. 
So in my case, my business is going to be open from Monday to Friday from, from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Right now is 4 p.m. So I'm going to preview this flow. And it just starts asking me, when do I want to start opening the business, okay? So for example, today is Friday. So the next time that I need to open my business is going to be next Monday. Okay, I know that since it's 4 p.m., my business is open already, but forget about that. Just think about the next time that your business needs to be open. So in my case, I'm going to select. It's going to be uh, Monday at 6 p.m. Sorry, at 9 a.m. Monday at 9 a.m. I'm going to select this and now when do I want to close my the business so in this case um, it will be the, the, the next time that I need to close the business is going to be today that is Friday at 6 p.m. so I'm going to select today at 6 p.m. and I'm going to select this Since the first time the rule to open the business will fire, will fire next Monday, I need to manually open the business the first time. So again, we'll go to settings, um, find the bot field. Well, settings, custom fields, um, we'll go to the bot field that is both open. And only for this time, I'm going to set it to yes manually. Okay. So my business is going to be open now. And as I said, today at 6 p.m. is going to be the first time that it's going to cl be closed. So at 6 p.m., this rule will trigger and it will start with this flow that is closed business. So at 6 p.m. today on Friday, the action is going to be, the, the bot field is going to be set to no. So my business is going to be closed. And then on Monday at 9 a.m., the other rule which is open business is going to trigger and it's going to set the custom field to yes to the, the bot field op, uh, bot open to yes okay and then on monday at night and 6 p.m it will go fire this smart delay because it doesn't fire on saturday or on sunday so monday it will be set to no um then on Tuesday at 9 a.m. is going to be set to yes. So you only so you don't need to worry about checking the current day and time. You only need to check the bot field. Okay. So I'm going to test it. As you see right now, I added the the bot field manually to yes because I am uh, in my working hours right now. Um, I need to close the business first automatically before I start opening it, it manually, uh, automatically also on Monday. But if, for example, you were going to configure this on Monday at 6 a.m., you don't need to set it ma manually to yes because it will automatically do it on Monday at 9 a.m. It will set the bot field to yes. Okay, so you don't have to do anything there. Um, well, I will test it. In this case, I created uh, a keyword called is it open and it will send me the the example flow which was the one that that has the condition to configure the uh, sorry to has the the example flow that has the condition to see if the bot is um the bot the bot field open is true or false okay so i'm going to to ask it, is it open? And in this case, it replies to me that we will message you as soon as possible. As possible, our business is open now. And as I said, at 6 p.m., the rule the rule will trigger and will change the bot filter no. And if I ask again, is it open? It will send me the message saying that the business is closed. And so. In this case, it will say that one 
our agents will uh, talk to me when the business is open again or something like that. You can change it to what you want. And for example, if you want to use it as a default reply, you can just go to your default reply and replace it with to the, with a flow where you have the condition or if you want, you just can create it here. Okay. Remember that this will work on your time zone. So if you are, in my case, my bot is on the same time zone than myself. But for example, if you are configuring it, uh, if you're configuring this bot for somebody that is in another time zone, I mean, for let's say that I work here in Lima, but um, I'm going to configure a bot for a company that is in, I don't know, in Europe, in, let's say in, in Madrid, for example. So I have to be, be sure that when I choose the 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 hour for to open to start opening the business and to start closing it, it has to be on their time zone. I mean, so let's say if we have five hours of different, I have to put it. I have to add the difference to that hour, and also on the default reply, on the smart delay. Sorry. Okay, so please be careful with the time zones. Uh, well, that's it. I hope this video helped you. Let me know in the comments if you have any other doubts. I will, I actually, I didn't do a step-by-step -step creation if, of these flows because I actually created a template that I'm going to share the link with you in the, the comments of this video. So it will be easier for you to just modify how, uh, in a way that you need it, okay? Uh, but let me know if you have any other doubts. Thank you.